Hi guys, I'm Mohammad Shehzad here again and today we are going to see how we can create a virtual switch in our ESXi server. So today's video is regarding the virtual switches if somebody want to add more virtual switches. So how you can create that. So uh, I have some previous videos if somebody didn't saw I will fully recommend to go back and uh, check these videos it's also very informatic and uh, if you like the videos you can just press i uh, like button and uh, subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for upcoming small small good videos so today is let's move to our esxi v center i will log into my v center and we will create a virtual switch so i'll go my uh, v center i will log in my v center Okay, so here we are in our e ESXi uh, servers and vCenter. So if you see in my vCenter, I have three ESXi servers. So first of all, you must know that uh, in this, uh, uh, for example, if we choose our this uh, ESXi server, I will like to make a virtual switch on this ESXi server. First thing you have to check that go into the configuration and must see if you have a physical adapter and you have have you, what is the planning that the which cable on the back side of uh, the server you would uh, like to bring into your virtual switch so virtual switch pass the traffic from there to outside in your network so here i can see my three switches other switches occupy these my three physical interfaces but my vm neck 3 is uh, still free and there is no network and moreover i can see the state here if you go go down here in this area so if you bring it down it will show you the status is disconnected and nothing uh, connected to the network so first of all you have to bring you know your uh, you know cable have to connect with your network so let's go and connect our physical cable to this network and then after that we will see our new virtual switch we will create on this one okay i have a one network cable here i will use this one to connect my uh, this one the three server and uh, with uh, that port vmk nick uh, three so with my this switch here here is this here is the server in the back and we will bring to connect here because my cable is short so i'll bring here on this side or maybe somewhere so okay so let's go and connect on the back first I will throw this one from here and uh, from back side I'll go this one and I'll connect on here VMK NIC 3 connect it and then we'll come on the front and the cable I will use and connect here on this port number like uh, 31 32 33 so i will use 33 and it's connected so we will see if this 33 is blinking now so it means our server is connected so let's go back on uh, esxi our v center and let's configure this this uh, vmk nic 3 of this uh, server and uh, to create our virtual switch okay guys uh, i'm back here after we connected our uh, new cable with this switch and we see the link is up now and the status is showing is connected and if i go on my which switch port we connected if you guys remember i think it was 33 let's go and check it out okay here you go my switch model the switch ip address and the uh, uh, port number 33 we connected here you go okay let's go and create the virtual switch now if you come back in your uh, virtual switch here 
in the same ESXi server configuration virtual switch here I have some of my other switches which holding this physical NIC and the other one is holding this one and the third one is holding this one so now you understand why we are using this physical adapter the VMK NIC to join our switch so can our VMs can communicate from here okay let's go and create a new switch I will just select virtual switches and I will come here on virtual switches and I'm click I, I'm going to click on this uh, you know globe so just click and here you have a three options first is VMK network uh, kernel if you want to make it and physical network adapter you want to make but we are going to use this one virtual machine port groups for a standard switch and a group a port group handle the virtual uh, machines traffic on mm, standard switches so we'll just select this one and then after that we'll go next and he's saying are you gonna make a new one or just uh, uh, existing you wanna use we'll say new standard switch next and he's saying here which adapter would you like to assign so we'll go plus button to connect and we have available only one our uh, VMK physical adapter which we connected if you remember on our switch on port number 33 and this is VMK NIC3 we'll select OK and it's selected we'll go next and saying what will be the label for this one so we will say uh, switch. Like, this is the port label but you can say as a uh, new port like new group okay first group group on new virtual on a first group okay if you want to tag any vlan you can tag i'll go next okay it will create a virtual switch three and then a one port row finish here you go here we have a virtual switch three and one port and our virtual switch is created automatically so now you can change your ports or uh, this port group if you want to delete you can delete it later but uh, you have to create a new virtual groups okay like similar here we have one vmk kernel adapter here like this like this so you saw we created a third virtual switch and we made a one port group and if you want to add more port group on this one like i want to add my vlans uh, regarding you know this one is like um, uh, other port groups if you want you can create here for example here you can create more and you can use this same switch and then you can give a, a port group name and then VLAN and gone so you can have another here so now we have our uh, virtual switch here so hopefully you like it uh, this video and uh, if you like it kindly subscribe my channel for and uh, click on like button and also click on the uh, bell icon so you will have you will notify uh, new upcoming videos thank you very much take care bye bye